One day, a pilgrim asked St. Paisios what divine justice is, and he replied with a simple example. I'm sure many of you have heard the story, but it bears worth repeating. And St. Paisio says, well, let's imagine there are two people who are sitting at a table, and on the table is a plate with 10 apricots. If the one person eats seven of them out of gluttony and leaves only three on the plate for the other person to eat, then he is being unfair and is doing an injustice to the other person. Now, if he says, look, there's two of us and the apricots are 10, therefore we should each have five. And he does indeed leave five for the other person to eat, then that person is applying the human notion of justice. But if that person happens to find out that the other person likes apricots, then he pretends he personally does not like apricots very much and he eats only one, just to be convincing. Then says to the other person, here, my brother, you eat the rest of the apricots because I really don't like them so much. Then he has the sense of divine justice by which he prefers to be wronged according to human justice. But according to divine justice, he is rewarded for his sacrifice. You know, in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus, at that precise moment, when the soldiers were coming with the lanterns for his arrest, could have called legions of angels. He did not. He could have had that moment struck down with all the soldiers around him, and he did not. While he was on the cross that he ascended willfully, he could have destroyed the world with a single word and he did not. But what does he do? He asks his father to forgive the people that don't know what they are doing. And to the penitent thief on the cross who said, forgive me, forgive me, my dear God. And Jesus said, I'll remember you from this time forward in my kingdom. Our Lord knows the inner struggles of our hearts. He knows what it is that you and I are going through. When you think of the person that's done you harm and you think, how can I love him? You must. You and I must get our acts together. Perfect love is expressed in obedience. This was the message of this morning's gospel. And that's what Jesus personified, obedience to the Father in perfect love. I finish with the words of St. Paul, strive for full restoration, encourage one another, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you forever. Amen.